Now we focus on missing memories. A local woman buys a camera at a pawn shop. She finds one of those memory cards left inside. Now she wants to find out who the first owner was. New at 630, our Kelsey Thomas has the photo perfect story. They may be treasured photos, but who do they belong to? One woman's mission to find the answer is personal. My dad has been taking pictures since I don't even know when. Crystal Cisco says she grew up with a camera in her face, capturing memories with her family, moments that are irreplaceable and precious. You can't get those memories back, but you've got the pictures. Hoping to turn her hobby into a family business, Crystal recently stopped at this pawn store to buy a camera. It's a Nikon D5100, and then I noticed the memory card when I opened up the memory card slot. A memory card full of photos. And I looked at the first picture when I got the camera home, and there was a baby picture on it. And so um, I was like, okay. So I looked through a few more, and there were baby pictures, and then there was um, trip photos from the snow somewhere. Now this good Samaritan turned detective is going beyond what most of us would do for a stranger. I want to get at the very least, I want to get the, the memory card back to who it belongs to. A good deed that comes as no surprise to Crystal's mom, Patty Ford. To me, that's what I expect her to do. That's the way we raised her. And if you find you find a hundred dollar bill on the ground, you pick it up and you try to find out whose it is before you spend it. As for Crystal, she knows the power of photographs. Memories are important. She's hoping to reunite these memories with whomever might be missing them. You don't know if they've got those pictures anywhere else. They don't know if they were thought they were completely lost, you know. The pawn store TNT Pawn is also helping Crystal to try and track down the owners of that memory card. If you know who those photos belong to, you can send me an email or tweet me. Kelsey Thomas, News 3. Well, we'll